All right, so this is uh, problem set one for chapter six. And the question is, which reaction would yield more isopropyl methyl ether? And here's what that molecule looks right like. So they give us uh, two reactions. One is um, was that isopropyl iodide, maybe I think, plus um, methoxide turning into. Um, isopropyl methyl ether and then the second reaction that they give us is um, I don't know what this molecule is called sodium something sodium isopropyl oxide maybe I would have to look that up uh, plus um, methyl iodide, I think, maybe that's the name, turning into isopropyl iodide. All right, so we want an SN2 reaction is what's desired here. So let's look at <clears throat> uh, reaction mechanism one, the S and two, right? So um, here's the S and two reaction. The methoxide ion comes in from the back and then it pushes off the, the, I, the iodine ion iodine ion and we get the following we get um, isopropyl methoxide there's inversion of configuration right so there's inversion when that happens however we should keep in mind that this is a second degree alkyl halide and uh, that means it is less reactive via SN2 than first degree carbon, right? There's these two carbons here having, so there's this makes more stark hindrance for this molecule coming in. So the SN2 reaction is not as quick. Um, also, we have to keep in mind that with this molecule, it's possible to have E2 competition. So here we have the, the, the molecule. And here's methoxide. Right, the methoxide could come in, take this hydrogen. This hydrogen can donate its bond here, creating a double bond, and the I, um, iodine ion could leave, leaving us with propene. So those are two things you have to keep in mind. Reaction two, the reaction mechanism for two, the yes and two. It's a first degree alkyl halide, right? No, it's, yes, it's a first degree alkyl halide. So it's more reactive because there's less steric hindrance. So here we have the, um, this 
this oxide ion, uh, I would isopropyl oxide ion, attacking the methyl metho iodide, methyl iodide ion, um, compound. This is a first degree right here. There's only hydrogens. There's not CH3 groups like up here in the way, CH3 groups. They're just hydrogen groups, so there's less steric hindrance, so it's easier for this molecule to come in, attack, and push off the iodine ion and uh, give us our, when that happens, it'll give us, I'm sorry, our, our product here, right, of um, isopropyl, um, or wh whatever it's called, isopropyl methyl ether. And also here, there's no, there's also no E2 reaction. The, I mean, this can, if it takes off one of these hydrogens, but that's not going to happen. Um, I don't know exactly why it can't. If you take off a hydrogen here and it comes here, it's, what is it going to form a double bond with? Nothing. It's, I guess it would become it would become a negative um, carbon ion or something like that and it's really unstable so that's not very likely to happen but you're not going to get any E2 uh, mechanism, um, reactions competing.